Hey, Mom. I'm home. Hey, Danny. How was swim practice? Great. My best time yet. But I'm hungry after all that swimming. Oh, I bet you are. How about a cup of soup to hold you over until dinner? What kind? Well, let's see. We've got cream of mushroom, minestrone, and healthy chicken noodle. How about healthy chicken noodle? Well, that's a good choice for you. How come? Well, it's got the nutrients an active guy your age needs. 28% DV of vitamin A, and it's a good helping of carbohydrates to boot. Plus, it's low fat, less than 5%, and lower in sodium, less than 20% DV. You sound like a nutritionist, Mom. How do you know all that? <laughs> it's all right here, in the Nutrition Facts label. When figuring out nutrition, remember the 5-20 rule. 5% is low, 20% high. If you want less of a nutrient, aim for 5%. More, 20%. I get it. Coach says he wants us to have more protein. So I should look for the higher percentage of that. 20, right? Right. Well, if I want to win a medal next week, I better start reading. The Nutrition Facts label, that is. <laughs> <laughs> to review, if a food has 5% or less of the daily value of a nutrient, say less than 5% fiber, then that food isn't a good source of that nutrient. 20% or more means it is. That's the 520 rule. Conversely, you can use the 520 rule to know what foods to limit. For instance, if you're trying to get less sodium, try to stick to servings closer to 5%, not 20%. I thought I smelled something good. We're eating some soup, Grandpa. That sounds great. Maybe I'll warm up with some soup, too. Well, there are a lot of good choices. See what you like and I'll make you some. Cream of mushroom. Too much saturated fat and sodium for me. Well, we all need to watch our saturated fat and sodium. Try the healthy minestrone. It's low fat, a good source of fiber, and lower in sodium. Just what the doctor ordered, since I'm not getting to walk as much in this cold weather. Well, we all wish we had Danny's energy, but when we eat right for our age, we all feel a little bit younger. <laughs> <laughs> Danny is very active, so he's looking for more carbohydrates and probably has a larger calorie intake than Gramps. On the other hand, Gramps can use a bit more protein and needs to watch his cholesterol. Here's another example of the 520 rule. These are 8 ounce glasses of apple juice, orange juice, and tomato juice. Apple juice only has 4% of your daily requirement of vitamin C, less than 5, so it's not a good source of C. OJ has more than 100%, and so does tomato juice. So they're great sources. One glass, and you're good on vitamin C for the entire day. But tomato juice has less than half the calories of the other two, and a lot less sugar. So it's a really great choice. But it's also got a lot more sodium, so make sure you read the Nutrition Facts label. Okay. Let's review. Nutrition facts labels are your key to calories, serving sizes, and daily values that follow the 520 rule. So, before you chow down, check the calories and serving size. If it says a serving is six ounces like some yogurts, then the nutrients are based on a six ounce cup. That means there are fewer calories in a serving, which could be a good thing. But serving sizes can be bad news too. For example, on something like chips or cookies, a package may contain more than one serving. Ooh, this one has two? That means if you eat the whole package, you're getting two times the calories listed. And with cereal and pasta, okay, in real life, I eat my cereal and pasta by the bowlful, but on Planet Nutrition Facts label, it's by the cup or portion of the box. Make sure you check the label to know how many calories and nutrients you're really getting. And don't forget the 520 rule. If a food has 5% or less of a nutrient, it's not a good source of that nutrient. If it has 20% or more, it is an excellent source. <laughs>